Okay, I want to introduce you to the Fortran pull state for the animal controller. I want to show you what it is capable of and after that I will show you how you can set it up in your own project. First you have the a cube as an example and you can push it down a slope and it will align to the ground and here we have an example for a trigger action. It will spawn a cube and as you can see the cubes can also slide down a slope. It's um, handled with the physics materials. You can have it on the slopes or on the cube. Uh, it's your preference and here is an example how we can restrict the movements once the cube collides with the wall the mu the movement will be restricted to uh, the direction of the collision like so and here we have an example how we can push a cube down this will fall and you will automatically got uh, detached from the cube. Um, the cube can be either have a four-way, uh, left, right, back and forth, or you can um, press down the shift and then you are in the rotation mode. It can be uh, used for a shopping cart for example. Uh, it's uh, almost the same behavior. And you can have it with uh, physics interactions. Uh, you can set it without kinematic state, and then you can uh, shoot them in the air or uh, what you want. Uh, you can push them, of course, uh, slopes up as well. And if you uh, if you and the state uh, it can um, can slide down um, if you set up the physics material. Here are another example on how you can uh, put them down. And now I will show you an example for the uh, moving platforms. You can move them on the moving platforms and as you can see it will automatically detach the player or the character from the cube once it's uh, gone away or up and down as you can see and, uh, yeah that's basically it Okay, now I want to show you how you can set up the push and pull state for your character in your project. I begin with the cube, how to set up the push and pull object. I choose, for example, a cube. And all you have to do is for the cube is to um, attach the push and pull object script on it. And then you have to choose the transform var for the player and attack for a player. You can choose the unity tag system or the uh, animal controller tag system. It works in both. And then you want to have, if you want to have a moving, moving platform, uh, system as well, then you have to assign a tag for it as well. All the parameters, uh, if you are interested in, you can read the documentation. All the parameters are there and um, explained. And now you have to uh, attach a tag for the push and pull object. Um, you can uh, here too. Either you want to have the Unity tag system or the AC tag system. 
I choose the AC tag system and I assign the push and pull electric tag for it. And that's it. Now you you can choose the uh, the cube and have it uh, push and pulled. I use a kinematic state so that uh, uh, Steve doesn't so that Steve doesn't move it with his body. So and now you can drag and push it. So that's for the cube and now for the player. If I choose for example uh, another Steve, I choose him. All you have to do is go for the tag and drag and drop the, the push and pull state in it. And then you need to arrange when to which push position in your game should the push and pull uh, state goes in. And then you probably want uh, another inputs. Uh, choose another inputs for it and uh, here if you choose another tag uh, and not like me then you have to assign it here as well and this is the button how you enable the rotate mode if you want to enable it if you don't want to enable it uh, leave it blank and that's basically it now the new Steve should be rotated. Okay. Oh, I probably missed something like the tag. I missed something crucial, the animations. Uh, for the animations you want to uh, to copy it from here, copy, and then you want to assign it in your state as well. And here you have to see, uh, you have to be aware of your uh, ID. If you have some other states, then you want to, uh, yeah, maybe choose another uh, ID for it. So and now, um, so and now it should be good to go. Yes. Okay, so that's it.